Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a bunch of different topics to go through. Let's get straight into it. And we're going to start with the Lukaku transfer saga. Now I know it's one that people are kind of bored of because they just want it done with, but we have to keep up to date on it. And it says Lukaku, Lukaku to Inter is back on. Chelsea will reduce the loan fee to offload £100 million flop in transfer compromise. Now this is coming through Nizar Kinsella. I'm sure you guys are very aware of him if you follow the Chelsea space. Chelsea have indicated they are willing to reduce their loan fee to allow their club record signing to return to Inter. He's pushing for a move, and after initially asking for £21 million in pounds, I'm referencing this, the Blues now seem willing to drop their price price to just £10 million, with Inter's latest approach offering £6 million. So as I said, I'm doing this in pounds, so they've offered 6 Chelsea are now accepting 10 instead of the 21 that they initially were hoping for and now i believe this i might be wrong on this but i believe that, believe this is just you know the loan fee which we've been hearing so his wages he'll be taking a wage cut into will be paying his wages and then this is just an extra fee that chelsea will get on top of um of the wages being covered i, I think i'm not certain on that i've seen a few different um sources report it very clearly like that and then some sort of leave it ambiguous because they're not sure so i think if the wages are covered and we're getting 10 million if chelsea get there where you know there's 4 million between the current price which is essentially nothing so this will happen and lukaku will now be going to inter milan it's pretty much sealed and then you know if the wages are covered and we're only getting 10 million yeah it sucks but I think I'm willing to do it just to get him out of the club if the decision was down to me. Thankfully, it's not. I've got a couple of the bits to go through, though, on this Lukaku thing. It says here, through sport witness, Inter defender Stefan de Vrij, or de Vrij, I can't remember how you pronounce it, and Bastoni are of interest to Chelsea as part of the Lukaku deal. It's stated that Chelsea demand Bastoni be part of the negotiations. Now... That would make a lot more sense considering we're only asking for a 10 million pound loan fee it's just a case of i don't think inter are gonna let bastoni go i'd be happy to take him i think maybe stefan de Vrij i would also but bastoni would probably be my preference of the two and i can understand why chelsea may be demanding that i don't think we'll get it i don't think they're going to accept that i think Chelsea are in a very bad situation with this, as much as we can essentially just say, fine, we'll let him rot in the reserves, that's not an ideal situation for Chelsea, they need to get some money back from this to be able to invest it into someone this year to actually play for Chelsea. So, a tricky one, and I don't think we're going to get Bastoni, so I wouldn't get your hopes up on that. And then another tweet then saying, the preference to replace Lukaku appears to be on inside forwards or high energy pressing attackers with, of course, Raheem Sterling and Jesus being considered, alongside Christopher and Kunku. So these are players that we know we've had interest in for a while now. But it's now coming down to which one of these will be the better signing to replace um, Lukaku. Personally, it's between Nkunku, but I think that's going to be far too expensive. Therefore, I think it's Jesus, in my personal opinion. Of course, Sterling is a winger, so it would mean that I guess Kai and Bruyer would be our main strikers if we're going to go for Sterling and then obviously Sterling on the wing. Gabriel Jesus, for me, I know a lot of people aren't keen on it, but he's going to be cheaper. He, you know, there's reported fees going around. 40 million, I think, is one that I've seen going. That's a reasonable price to pay for a centre forward that will lead the line for Chelsea, that will score enough goals and you know isn't exactly old like he's still young there's plenty of value still to him so i think that's the one i'd prefer and kunku is definitely a more flashy signing one that would probably be greater but it's going to cost a lot more so it's an interesting situation but it looks like the lukaku saga might finally be ending then the next topic we have is chelsea are exploring a swap deal possibility for juventus defender Demiral, and you can see mentioned in here, it says that Jorginho could go the other way. Now, we know Juventus have had a strong interest in Jorginho for a few years now, so this one actually is a fairly strong chance of happening. Demiral, though, is that the kind of centre-back that we want at Chelsea? So let's take a look at him. Been out at Atalanta on loan, I believe, and is returning to Juventus. 24 years old, right-footed, very tall, valued about €30 million, Euros, can play centre-back and right-back, strong in the air. Looking at his stats here, 28 uh, 
games played one goal two assists so not crazy numbers but five clean sheets out of them and then looking at the ground duels 151 percent and aerial duels 169 percent very strong in the air eight yellow cards so maybe a little bit aggressive but nothing to worry about in a major sense i wouldn't think uh, and his average sofa score rating for the year 6.97 with three injury blips which isn't ideal but you know they're not major injuries they're fairly spread out and it doesn't seem like it's a massive problem so for me on this one demiral for Jorginho i think could make sense if you consider that you know Jorginho goes so you lose someone in the midfield you bolster it with Conor gallagher we're of course losing plenty of center backs demiral slots in i think this is a very nice sort of you know move the jigsaw pieces around and it all fits it all works Demerel, I could see being a top player. He's 24 years old still, so still plenty of time to develop if you don't think he's good enough. I'm open to this one. I'm intrigued to see your guys' opinions on this, though, because I think a lot of people will say he's maybe not good enough. I personally would take a pun on him. I think he will be, but let me know what you guys think. Then next up, we have some potentially bad news, and it is that Chelsea being linked with the host of Cinemax, blah, blah, blah. It's saying that Barcelona and Chelsea are interested in Jules Kunde. The report also claims that Newcastle are now interested and they're willing to pay his £90 million release clause. I think that's 70 something million pounds, that release clause. Obviously, Chelsea were in negotiations for a was it 40, 50, 50 million, somewhere about there. That sort of fee, we weren't going to pay the release clause, but apparently Newcastle are set to swoop in. There's also talks that Barcelona are currently trying to swoop in and get him. I don't see that one as likely because of their financial situation. I might be wrong. But Newcastle are now trying to swoop in, and obviously Sevilla have a say, if the release clause is met, they have to accept it. Whereas they could now reject Chelsea's offer, and say, nope, we only accept Newcastle's offer. Chelsea, you can go and get screwed unless you want to pay that release clause, which is a big problem for us, if this is true. My only hope is that Kunde doesn't see Newcastle as, obviously, as big of a club as Chelsea, an exciting project like Chelsea is and would decline them and push Sevilla to accept our bid you know they screwed us over last year they've got to do the right thing this year that's my only hope but I swear to god if Chelsea are about to bottle this couldn't they transfer after we've been pretty much locked with him for so long I'm gonna be so annoyed so Chelsea get it done then following on from that we have Chelsea win transfer race to complete first Todd Bowley signing and amid Thomas Tuchel rebuild now, it's not a flashy signing, guys. It is a goalkeeper. Apparently, a lot of people are interested in him and in trying to get his signature. Um, his name is, where is it? Eddie Beach here. He is a very young player. I'll try to look up some stats, but I really couldn't get anything concrete on him. It says he featured 20 times for Southampton's under-18 side across all competitions, conceding 31 goals. Not great, but obviously this is at a very strange level. And basically... He's going to be another goalkeeper that we're bringing in, seemingly goalkeepers galore at the moment. We're now going to have Slonina coming in. We were looking at another guy the other day. And this guy, I think, is going to be announced today slash tomorrow. So, Chelsea going all in on getting some young goalkeepers in. Probably a good thing, you know, so that we can develop these guys, get them out on loan, see how they do. But not a flashy signing, but could be the first one of the Todd Bowley era. So, I guess kind of exciting but probably won't be a thing for us for years to come and then to end on i wanted to look at the official images of the chelsea home kit for next year and here we have it apparently now assuming this is correct i'm not personally a fan i've said this before about previous kits though and they've come to sort of you know i've come to like them the collar is just the down point for me and also it's very plain there's nothing to it just with a fat three badge in the middle who I'd rather we got rid of, given how they handled the previous situations with the sanctions, but it doesn't matter. Personally, not a big fan. I tend to... They, they, if, if the home kit isn't great, the away kit or the third kit is generally quite nice, so I'll probably end up picking up one of them. <coughs> but this one, I will not be picking up. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below, because personally for me, big thumbs down. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss a future video. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.